For years, I thought when people ask me about wrist flexibility and Olympic lifts, uh, I thought they were just, and just fill in an offensive name, uh, I just thought they weren't tough or weren't kind of sissies or throw any words, you know the words I'm using, you know, in my head. And then, at state weightlifting <laughs> me, I broke my wrist in eight pieces, okay? The first surgery was successful, I was told I'd never lift weights again. Uh, playing with my daughter in a pool, I threw her out of the pool because that's what you do when you're a strength athlete. I bent the titanium plate that they swore would never come out. Had a second surgery, and then I had this wrist that was like this. And I thought, okay, all those guys who used to ask me this question about wrist flexibility, all right, they're on to something. They, they are on to something, okay, because it hurt like hell. There's two things I'd like to kind of uh, go over. The first is when people stretch their wrists for the cleans, they go like this, right? Everyone go like this. Oh, this has got to be the way it is. This is the way. This is the way. This will make you. No. The way this, there's a band, and if any of you ever, by the way, I used to have a much cooler scar. I had this big earthworm, purple earthworm, that went up my wrist, and it looked like I had had issues with the bell jar reading in high school, you know? Uh, for those who don't get the literary reference, I'll get back to me. Sadly, this one, they cleaned it up so it doesn't look nearly as good. But it was a great scar, man. There's a band that goes around the wrist. To make your wrist more flexible for the cleans, it's probably best to take your hand. Okay, I'm going to stretch this wrist. And I'm going to grab the thumb here. And I'm going to drive my hand down my waist. Everyone try that. You see how I'm stretching the band? Now, as you come, you notice that? Now as you come down, if you can wrap your elbow more in this, I'm stretching my right hand. So I'm pulling my right elbow kind of underneath. Can you notice how that opens up some more stretching? Now I'm going to kind of play around in there a little bit. Now, I don't, you can't see it, but I'm pulling the thumb this way. So the thumb's going this way and this elbow's going this way. And I'm trying to rip that area apart. I'm looking around for places. Just keep, just keep trying to find places to stretch it. Now, to make it more flexible, you just drive it down lower and lower and lower. All right? OK? You feel that? Now, let it open up. Ah, it feels good. Um, uh, would you just, uh, Gary, would you grab that bar? OK. And Dave, come here. The other thing, the other thing that's important, and this is, you can find this in, of course, that brilliant DVD that you can find on davedraper.com. Uh, get in the front squat position for me, okay? Okay. Face this way. Now, I used to attack, and I used to take the hands and push this way. Though your flexibility is not bad. Oh, yeah, sorry. I fell for it. Is now I focus back here. Give me a big Titan right here. Bring, bring those wrong boys together. Give me a big chest. Give me a big chest here. Give me a big chest. There you go. Big chest. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Big chest. You'll notice I'm focused over here, but I'm grabbing. Okay, I've got to try to get his brain back here. Go big chest, big chest. All right. Relax your head. Good. Notice how, notice how much I increased that left side? Okay, that's the bad side. Okay, the bad side is now one inch above the good side. And now we'll work on the good side. There you go. Now, do I...